So I wanted to show you how I prepared uh, to do this patch. This is the second video. Uh, basically, I just drew out a square that's going to be my patch material. Now, I had this old 18-gauge steel that had a little bit of a curve in it. And so I figured, you know, instead of just cutting a flat piece, maybe I could use a little bit of this curve to match the contour. So if you look over here at the at the truck, this is the square that's going to be cut out. And the piece that I just showed you will, will go in here and weld in. And, and the side of the truck here has a little bit of a curve to it. So my options would be cut it out of flat metal and, and bend it around a oxygen tank or acetylene tank or some kind of round pipe to get the curve. But since I already have this curve piece, I figured I would uh, just use it. Now, I'm not using <clears throat> high dollar tools on this. I'm still using, I did a review on this Harbor Freight Bauer snip and uh, it's still working like a charm. So basically just cut out, you can see it's got a little bit of a curve to it, and this piece is going to go right in there. But as you can see, I've got to shape that to make it fit because I don't want to start welding this and have a bunch of, of waves. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take some of that, that curve out of it because it's a little bit much. Tap it down. Now, I'll bring it back over to my, to my piece, and you can see that's a lot better. So I'm going to work this a little bit until I get this curve, and then in my next video, I'll show you uh, how I go about cutting it out. Now, what I did want to show you is, this is square cuts. Um, I've tried different things where, where you make an angle, but with a die grinder, it's much easier to do patches uh, with sharp 90 degree corners uh, than trying to cut a perfect curve and then get that same curve onto your metal. So I've kind of over, over the years just decided that my patchwork is going to be squares and that's made my life a lot easier.